Today we are going to start chapter 2 off by figuring out how to estimate to place the first digit in a, the quotient. So that means when I have a division problem like this, I'm going to be able to estimate where the first digit in the quotient is going to be. So the quotient is the number that goes up here and I'm going to be able to make a good guess where is it going to be in the hundreds place, the tens place, the ones place. That's what we're going to learn today. So first of all I want us to look at this division problem. So if I have 265 divided by 5, what is a way that I could estimate? Well this is where you have to use compatible numbers. So if you use compatible numbers, there are two really good options that you could have. Either you can change 265 to 250, or you could change 265 to um, 300. The reason I chose these two numbers is because 200, or 25 is a multiple of 5, and 30 is a multiple of 5. So that's going to make it real easy for me to estimate. So first let's look at um, 250 divided by 5. If I'm dividing that, I know that 25 divided by 5 is 5. And I know that there, I have to fill up all my place values and there's nothing else left to divide, so I put my 0 here. And then I know here on, on um, 300 divided by 5 that 30 is 30 divided by 5 is 6, Oops. and I know that I have to fill up all my place values, so I'm going to put my 0 here. And so, based on this, I have a really good estimate of what I think the quotient would be for 265 divided by 5. I know that it's going to be in between 50 and 60. So that is how I estimate. <clears throat> now we actually have to do the division problem. So let's look down a little bit further here. Oh, and that's, this is something I forgot. Um, both quotients are in the tens place. They're both, um, this is, has six tens, this has five tens. So I know my quotient will be in the tens place. So I know that when I actually sit down and solve 265 divided by five, my answer is going to be in the tens place. All right, now let's actually do 265 divided by 5. I know that um, I'm going to start off in the 10, or I'm going to start off with in the tens place right here. So I'm going to look at 26 first. I'm going to divide 26 by 5. Well, what is the closest possible multiple of 5 that I can get that can be subtracted from 26? Well, I know that 5 times 5 equals 25, so that would be a really good choice, actually the only choice, to, um, to use as my fir the first digit of my quotient. So 25 is the closest number that can be subtracted from 26. So, like I said, I know my first digit in my quotient is going to be 5. And that's what it will, what it will look like. You put the 5 in the tens place. Now, the next step will be to, oops, the next step is going to be actually put the 25 in here somewhere. So, I know that I need to multiply 5 times 5, which is 25. I put the 25 underneath the 26, and I subtract it. So if you subtract 25 from 26, the answer that you get is 1. That's the remainder so far. All right, now my next step is I have to regroup. So I did 265 divided by 5, and I have um, my, the first digit of my quotient is 5, and then I I have to regroup the one. Now, the next step is I have to take, I have to now um, divide out the ones place. So I'm going to drop the ones place down here by the one to make it 15. And in order to figure out what the 
um, last digit is in my quotient, I'm going to do the same thing I did with 26. I'm going to divide 15 by 5. 15 divided by 5, well I know I can multiply 5 times 3 to find 15. So I know that 3 is going to be in my 1's place. So 5 times 3 is 15, so I have to put that 15 down here underneath, and I have to subtract. 15 minus 15, 0. Alright, so that's one way that I can estimate to find the first digit and then solve the equation. But another way that I can um, estimate the first digit is to use place value to place the first digit. So when I say I'm going to use place value, that means I'm going to look at my um, look at my problem, which in this case is four divide or 253 divided by four. I'm going to make put that into standard algorithm first. So four. And I'm going to put my 253 here. First, I'm going to look at my hundreds place which is 2. And I'm going to ask myself, can 2 be divided by 4? Well, no, it can't. So I'm going to have to go to the tens place. Can 25 be divided by 4? Yes, it is. I know 25 is greater than 4, so that is going, um, so I know that the first digit in the quotient up here is going to be in the tens place, like it was last time. All right, so after I've done that, I'm going to actually have to divide. So I'm going to divide 256 by 4. But again, I'm going to do the 25 first. Don't worry about the 6 yet. You leave the 6 in, but we're only dividing um, the 25. So 25 divided by 4. Well, again, you can't really multiply anything times 4 and get 25, so I'm going to get the, the um, closest multiple to 25 or the, the closest multiple of 4 that can be subtracted from 25. I know that 6 times 4 equals 24, so that's very close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 4 times 6. So I'll put my 6 in my um, tens place in my quotient, and I'm going to multiply 6 times 4, which is 24, which goes right here, and I subtract 24 from 25. Well, the difference is 1. So I'm going to put the 1 down here. Now, remember, my next step is to regroup. So I've done, I've subtracted um, 24 from 25. I'm going to um, put my remainder down here. And I'm going to drop down the 1's place, because that's what I still have to divide. So I'm going to drop that right here, 16. What is 16 divided by 4? Well, if you're thinking of multiples, you know that 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 divided by 4 would be 4. So I'm going to put 4 in my 1's place. Remember, I'm going to multiply that times 4. And then I have to subtract. 16 minus 16 is 0. So I know that my quotient is 64. So those are a couple of ways that you can estimate to find your um, quotient <clears throat> or find where the first digit in your quotient is going to be. Tens place, hundreds place, ones place. So what I want you to do now is I want you to get out your math journals. I want you to complete questions one and two in your math journals. Now these have two parts, so if you look with me really quickly, it says what place, hundreds, tens, or ones, is the first digit in the quotient for four, uh, or 81 divided by four. So you're going to tell me, is it going to be in the hundreds place, tens place, ones place for, the, um, for this division problem right here. Then you're actually going to solve that division problem. Same thing with number two, right? Tell me what place is going to be the first, the first digit is going to go um, in the quotient for 38 divided by 6. And then you're going to solve 38 divided by 6. Go ahead and pause the video and complete those questions. 
All right, so hopefully you paused the video, you answered those questions in your math journal. Please make sure that you complete your WISCs, which is watch, summarize, and question. And um, when you're done, click the turn in button on Enmodo. And in the comments section, write Miss Cassidy or Miss Clemens, whichever class you're in, I completed the work.